Hello, I'm Mario Newlands with Search Engine Journal here in San Francisco at the Mark to Conference with Chris from GShift Lab. How are you doing? Awesome, Mary. How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how to uncover not provided. We are. So what are you guys doing? How are you guys doing that? Well, it's something that's being searched on all the time, Murray. I mean, people are really searching on how to uncover not provided data. Uh, people are really starting to have conversations about it at the board level, at the VP of marketing level. And now agencies are struggling with the fact that their clients are asking them, well, what's happening here? I used to get a lot of traffic for this keyword phrase and now I'm not seeing it. So agencies are now saying, well, I have to explain why there's this group, new grouping called not provided. Right. And that's really the trick here now is how do you have a great educational moment with your client to say, hey, we actually did increase your traffic to your page or your content, but it is hidden and not provided. Now, there is software though that uh, at GShift that we've uh, just built that helps agencies uh, uncover this conversation and really expose what are these keyword phrases that are not provided from Google. How are you doing that? It's a great question. And uh, we took about four or five months. A lot of people came out with some interesting strategies at the beginning to say, hey, we can uncover it using PPC or we can uncover it using potentially webmaster tools or other various forms. But what G-Shift was looking at was, well, what, what data points do we really know? Right. Well, we really know how that one piece of content, be it a blog post, press release, or a web page, yeah. how it ranks and for what keyword phrases. Right. So let's use an exam one example of a blog, and it's ranking number three, let's say in Google, and uh, for one keyword, and number six, and number nine, and yeah. you know, there's various terms that it ranks for. Right. Because we know the search volumes as well of all those keyword phrases, and we also know click-through rates. We know that in, if you're number one in Google, you have a 36.4 percent. Uh, chance of a click-through rate right. at, in that position. So we use that all these knowns. In math, we like to have some knowns and we like to have like what an unknown might be. So what we're doing is we're taking all these facts that we have yeah. and putting that into uh, a, a data set to say, if I have a thousand people coming to my web page with organic entrance and 80% of that is now hidden or not provided. Yeah. Uh, we really wanted to see data from GShift saying, hey, I can show you 80 to 90 percent of what that not provided traffic is, and we can do that now. Very That's it's exciting. So you can give people that traffic back, the data back, sorry. It, it is sort of, uh, in a statistical level, I would yeah. say it's greater than about an 80 to 90 percent chance that uh, the data is accurate. Fantastic. Which 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 is yeah. which is That's great. It, it's for, better than zero, yeah. which we're you're flying blind right now. Right. Uh, we feel that this is a great way to have great conversations again with your clients and get your data back. If people want to find out more information, how do they connect with you? What's your email address, Chris? Mine is uh, Chris at gshiftlabs.com, or they can follow us on at gshiftlabs on Twitter. Uh, my personal uh, Twitter account is at Chris H Adams. Chris, thank you very much. Have a great show. Hey, thanks, Barry. Barry Newells with Search Engine Journal. I'll see you next time.